and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. For some Golgari Walkers, we have another donation deck for today. Third one on the day. Thank you all very much for that. Uh, if you would like your deck played on stream, head on over to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG. And you can find an imp info panel all about uh, donating to have your deck played. All right, so we have uh, another uh, Planeswalker deck with the Explore package as the base. We were just talking about that um, in chat. Like, since Guilds of Ravnica came out, Landwar Elf plus the 12 Explorer-centric uh, creatures is just a, a great base for, you know, any deck. There's, there's been so many different decks with them. Um, it's it's good against aggressive strategies, especially with the Wild Growth Walkers that can get you some big creatures um, <clears throat> and gain a lot of life. And it's pretty good against other mid-range decks and control decks, how uh, Merfolk Branch Walker and Jade Light Ranger provide some card advantage and card selection and early threats. Just So it's like a really nice package against everything. Now what we're going to back that up with is five Planeswalkers, here we have Davriel, Vraska, Nissa, Vivian, and Ugin. And of course, all the Planeswalkers and all the Explore creatures all have a whole lot of counter synergies. Like we have loyalty counters on all the Planeswalkers, 1 1 counters on our Explore creatures and Wild Growth Walkers. So to uh, synergize with all of those, we're playing four Evolution Sage. So I'm pretty excited about trying out Evolution Sage here. Get some loyalty counters back on stuff. <clears throat> Especially, I feel like this works really well with Davriel. Uh, you know, like Davriel minuses and and is gone pretty early. But like, if you have like like let's say we go like turn three Davriel minus next turn minus again, and then play an Evolution Sage on turn four, and then play a land proliferate, get the counter back, so you can kind of keep minusing and make them discard more cards than just the three. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, <clears throat> of course, getting to Nissa or Vivian Ultimate is really nice, especially if you if you do Vivian Ult and put a bunch of uh, forests on the battlefield and you have an Evolution Sage that puts a whole bunch of counters on something else, you can really go crazy with that. So that's kind of our deck. Uh, our sideboard is, is pretty geared towards aggro. Uh, we have Cast Down, Moment of Craving, uh, Contempt. Um, I think Finale of Eternity could work pretty well in this deck. It's... Not only is it just a, a solid card, but if we have a Nissa in play, it's certainly possible that we can get X equals 10. And then we can return all creature cards from our graveyard to the battlefield so we can bring back all of these. You know, basically have our own little Command the Dread Horde kind of thing. So that could work out pretty well. And I have an extra swamp here in the sideboard. That was something that I wanted to put in here. Um, so that against Mono Red, like the. The reason why I have this Swamp here, so against Mono Red, we get to cut Llanowar Elf because it's just so bad to Chain Whirler. And whenever we take those out, then we only have the 24 lands, and I think I'd want a 25th land in that scenario, uh, taking out Llanowar Elf. So we got the 25th land in there. All right, well, that's enough about the deck. Here we go, Golgari Wakos. And let's get started. All right, Doom Awful, have a good night. Thanks for that resub there. And catch the video later on the YouTubes. Yeah. Well, I think <clears throat> Ugin, instead of Big Vraska right now, where Ugin, like, there's a lot of uh, Planeswalkers. That's a pretty cool avatar. I like it. A lot of planeswalkers right now that Ugin gets to kill. And cool sleeves. Whoa, I'm jealous. That's I don't have the that avatar or those sleeves. I should get those. That looks pretty sweet. on mana playing the land war elf would mean that we would be able to play like the vivian to destroy the ascanta the following turn if we hit the land drop but wouldn't really guarantee hitting a land drop of course 
however doing that would mean that our opponent could like safely hold up counter magic with us not really having um mind and body why are they just minus twoing this narset before action Ooh. If I had a forest here instead of a swamp, I would consider just going Evolution Sage, Forest, Land or Elf. My mind needs a rest. But I don't. Please don't, Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, you know, Kaya's Wrath. More than a feeling. Honestly, against control here, too, if they're just going to be wrathing the, the battlefield. It's probably, like, Land of isn't going to do, like, a, a ton for us. Like, what if we... All right, so if we bring in Duress, bring in Elder Spell, bring in Contempt, then could we just get rid of, like, Wildgrowth Walker and Land Elf? Keep all these other things in? And we could also just trim Choops. Do I like Choops? We have a lot of other removal. All right, we can take out Choop and Wild Growth Walker. We could just do that and then keep a 24 with Land War Elf. Hmm. Three Land War Elf, 25 land. Basically, like these getting <clears throat> swept up. Why did our opponent concede? Because uh, they knew we had an Ugin on top, and they looked at our hand and saw the two other five mana planeswalkers, and they were just kind of. And we also had uh, eight power on the battlefield, and they didn't have anything else, and so they weren't going to beat the battlefield plus, even like with the thought erasure. Like they thought erasured us and saw all that, and saw they weren't going to win. Our opponent has the, um, like the the undead avatar, I guess, or like the the dread horde avatar. Certainly looks pretty cool. The amass token, yeah. Is scary, but underneath I'm just a normal diamond. Let's tidy up in there. Yeah, I like that one. I have to get that avatar in sleeves. That one looks pretty cool. Down, 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 down. More than a feeling. I don't think you'll be needing that. Hmm. Getting rid of Kaya's Wrath. I mean, Island and Mobilized District. Don't give don't produce a lot of confidence that the Kaya's Wrath will be cast
sure. Evolution Sage. Can't handle the Sage. Can't handle the Sage. Uh, hey Todd, I have a question. If you cast something with Cascade but nothing else in your deck is cheaper, do you just go through your entire deck and then shuffle? Yes. Taiga, were we just playing you? I'll take it. Really I'm glad we get to just change the basics real easily. Hmm. Okay, not mono red. So if it's mono red, I was definitely gonna have like some choices of like, do I cast this wild growth walker or not? Obviously, obviously, girl can still have removal for it, but they have a smaller chance to have removal for the wild growth walker. Mono red just has a whole lot of bolts. They are much more likely to have the removal spell for it. Oh, the opponent's the sleeve was too shiny for you. Okay, I gotcha. That was like the card that I wanted to see the absolute least on their side. Was it Rekindling Phoenix? Really hope they don't have any more. <laughs> I dwell. Discard a card. And let me pick your brain for a minute. Davriel's gonna die. Come to me. I wouldn't mind finding an evolution sage here. Let's see some panic That's a good card. I'll be able to kill a wild growth walker. Really, I want some kind of answer to this Phoenix, honestly. So I'd like to draw like a Chubacabra or a little Vraska where I can attack in, they block with Phoenix, then I can clean up the egg token. Bloiders feel the ground tremble. Hmm. Just I just can't even attack. So of course, the branch walkers just die whenever they attack because of the Sarkin trigger. I will call the dragons. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, it's looking real bad. Yeah, likely a little too too little too late. Finale of Eternity is going to be pretty good for us in the sideboard. And I can imagine if we had a Finale of Eternity, we'd be able to just kill all three of these creatures, do some good attacking. Pretty surprised they just let that die, honestly. I don't know why they don't just trade a Goblin for the Ranger. Honestly, very surprised about that. Hmm. Truth lies beyond vision. They got the eight on on top. Hey, what's up, Octroll? Thanks for that resub there. Sub number 17 on the day. We're three away from the second sub goal and the sub battle stream. Almost there. All right, so let's get the Contempt in here. Yeah, Rekindling Phoenix, that card's a problem. That card's a problem. I don't really like Davriel. Yeah, I feel like Davriel is going to be just too... Too easy to kill. Hmm. Was that right? Or should I be taking out... No, I'm not going to take out Evolution Sage. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I want Evolution Sage. You know, Sage is only really good whenever... On, like, Battlefield stalls and stuff like that. Hmm. So debating on playing Elder Spell. You know, that Sarkin. Like they have they definitely have like some some planeswalkers that's nice to get rid of. For sure. Is a Johnny good with the Sage? Yeah. Yeah. Like the green white Johnny? Absolutely. Put a bunch of counters on stuff. Play a land, proliferate. Absolutely. Let's try this. What's up, Contreras? Yeah, playing playing the one elder spell there. It's hard to think of a Planeswalker and say it's not good with Evolution Sage, to be honest. Though, every Planeswalker is going to be good with Evolution Sage. Alright, not going to shock to shock to deal one damage to them.
Wow, that's a that's a killer. That the Jade Light's not a three-two with a counter on it. It's a killer. Just had a good round of magic. I had a Sarkin out with a dragon. Selesnya deck went to attack him with all their one toughness creatures and wiped them. And <laughs> watched them all get wiped out. Oh, uh, the trap. The trap. Stuck in Platinum? That's not a bad place to be stuck, though. I guess let's try to get aggressive, I suppose. This is going poorly for us with all these lands. I did not board in the 25th land. We still only have 24 in, in here right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? All right, there we go. Okay, now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Hmm. I can't play the Evolution Sage first. Would have been nice if this Jade Light had a counter on it. But oh well. Get some more counters on these. No attacks. Let's try to get these swamps to be bigger than spellbreakers. Whew! That's a good one. Man, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, two, four, six, eight, yeah. Two, four, five, six. That's two, four. Whatever. I'll pay the two life. We're good. It's 
I guess I could have I could have tapped that swamp and then and then played this overgrown tomb and then pl proliferated on the jade light and wild growth walkers. But I mean, come on, it's not gonna matter. Our opponent very dead. This jade light should be able to find us a land also to play this next turn. Yeah, they're they're very dead. Finale of Eternity. Looking pretty strong there. I liked it. That was pretty sweet. Uh, I have not played that Gruel deck with Living Twisters, Chris, no. Yeah, that was really cool. It's like a perfect deck. It's like a perfect deck for Finale of Eternity. Get a lot of mana, want some creature. Has like a lot of creatures it wants to bring back. Um. Uh, good question, Gomez. Asks why am I not playing Cast Down against Gruel? Good question. Don't have a good answer for you. I think I overlooked the Cast Down in the sideboard when I was sideboarding. Fiery Cannonade. What? Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to fire some cannons? Yeah, get that out of there. You don't want none of that. Your last rare from war today was a silent submersible. Hey, you're doing it right. That was your last one. That means you opened up boosters pretty well. Wasn't like one of your first ones. That's pretty good. Hey, Nomi. Glad to see you here. Glad you're liking the YouTube videos and everything. Welcome to the channel. No, they had another fiery cannonade. Well, it's a three for three trade. They traded cannonade elf ranger for my elf elf walker. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess I didn't really even think about killing my own creatures with that. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's the best. Where is he at right now? Oh, he's just laying over there. He's just laying over there on the ground. Living his best, li best life. Phoenix is annoying. Ow. Demanding dragon. I will just sacrifice this branch walker. I don't think I want to take five. All right, killing the dragon. So we can uh, Nissa and Sage next turn, or Nissa and Finale of Eternity for two. But we're probably going to want to. 
finale of eternity for more than two. I want to do it for ten, get all these things back. The problem, though, of course, is this darn rekindling phoenix. Power surges through these lands. Land shall conquer you. I I want my opponent to attack with the growth chamber guardian. I hope they do, so I can block with the ravenous chupacabra. Put that in the graveyard to be able to finale back. Because then I can deal I can deal with the Phoenix if my Chupacabra dies. Ooh, they're just ignoring Nissa. Killing me. Not good. So I think we're gonna see if if this works. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Harness the elements. We'll see if we can destroy our own creature and then bring it back. We can. Oh, but we can't kill... Right, the Phoenix The Phoenix token isn't here yet? Dang it. Alright, didn't all work. Alright, well, it didn't, didn't work completely. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's a haste creature. It's probably better than about anything else I'm going to get. Alright, so should have just killed their, their things. But it's okay. So now we learned, though. Yeah, it was a great try. You know, we learned, we learned how cards work and everything. So... We learned a few things. We learned that you can, if you do kill your own creature with Finale of Eternity, it does come back. So that can be useful for, like, killing a Jade Light Ranger, having it come back for a Wild Growth Walker or something like that. Um, ah, uh, dang it. No, our opponent didn't let us do the thing. So we are going to Ultimate Nyssa, put in a ton of forests with these Evolution Sages. <clears throat> we were going to proliferate thousands of times. Millions of times, even. Who knows? More than anybody could possibly count. But yeah, that was a good good play there for, for the science there. Of seeing what was going to happen. Alright, we are 2-0. Let's keep this going. Yeah, this deck's pretty fun. Evolution Sage is just a fun card. I like Evolution Sage a lot. And I think it, it fits pretty well with this. Like... The blue-green Evolution Sage decks that are kind of like this that I've played just haven't had very good interaction. But adding in black, you get Chupacabra, and that finale has been awesome. Been pretty good. Yeah, I, I know that there was a Living Twister deck in the top eight of the MCQ, I know. Um, yeah, I'll play that. I'll play that deck this week. 
I need to give Living Twister some love. That card's pretty cool. So Jeskai, Jeskai Feather. Yeah, it does give utility to all of your lands, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, you can, Yud. Oh, no. Ooh, no attacks. No attacks. Too scared. I make you disappear. It's not often I'm out so if I was going to play Chubacabra, Chubacabra would have ate the Vindicator. I think the Vindicator is a better card than Tajik. But if I Golgari Queen Vindicator, then they get to attack freely with Tajik, and I can't. Um, that's good. And I can't, like, block at all. Back to the shadows. Now. Path Metal's cool. Yeah, Path of Metal can flip into, if you're unfamiliar with this card, it flips into Medzali Tower of Triumph, which is one of the most po uh, powerful lands that we have. Ooh, the Evolution Sage is getting out of there. Wow, what a draw. Let's tear this place apart. This is not. I'll be back. Just like before. Flips into a flipped boat. Uh, the haste creature. That gets to flip path of metal. Dang it. That's unfortunate. Oh, that thing has trample. Duh. Oh. Come on, I played now enough indicator. Started. Know about that? I just threw away a land or elf. I mean, I think new beginning. I guess it's all right to throw away a land or elf, but it's also unfortunate. We're doing well enough. Well. As long as Ugin resolves, we're doing well enough. Yeah, now we're doing well enough that it's, it's okay sure? too. Don't worry, I got this. So you can attack them for six, but the problem with attacking them is, like, next turn, like, attacking them is going to be pretty bad with the second part of Metzali here. Oh, 
All right. I got a gov. Sorry, I, I've got a uh, a hair in my eye. A cat hair in my eye, and so that's why I was messing with my glasses in my eyes so much there. Okay. Um. So Jeskai Path of Metal. Bronzedon may not be so bad. Especially if they have enchantment removal. I'm just gonna do this. I like our game one plan for the most part. <laughs> no, they don't concede they don't just concede to decks playing Field of Ruin. They still have you know, creatures and planeswalkers that attack and everything. It's not like they're solely relying on the <laughs> the Metzali to win games kind of thing. Yeah, we could play Moment of Craving. Maybe I should be bringing that in. I didn't really want, really want Cast Down with you know, we saw multiple legendary creatures. Uh, presumably, they have like Aurelia and Feather. Maybe not Feather. No, probably not Feather, but Aurelia. I don't know. We got the finale of Eternities. I think we have like pretty good blockers. It's not like they play a ton of creatures. I think we're okay with what we got. I still like the Planeswalkers. They go over the top. I have the Swamp in the sideboard for whenever we play matches where we want to board out Land War Elves, like against the Mono Red and Chain Whirler, where if I want to take out Land War Elves, then our 24 lands isn't going to be enough, and I want a 25th land. And so that's why there's a Swamp in the sideboard. That was the one thing. The one thing after the person donated, they said that to feel feel free to change up some stuff in the sideboard, and so it, that was something I added to the sideboard. There was a another land. I guess Land War Elf is just really bad against the card Path of Metal. So maybe I could even just have the 25th land, have a couple Moment of Cravings. Instead of playing the Land War Elves here, even in this matchup. Joy! Saturday last spot. I gotcha. I gotcha. Saturday last spot. Thanks for that donation there. Well, the thing about having landfall proliferate is you need to have lands for the landfall part. But it doesn't look like our opponent's doing too much. The opponent should, really should have just been continuing to attack this whole time. With, like, their two double strike creatures, like, Wild Growth Walker would trade with one of them, would just trade with Tajik. Oh, well, now they figured that out. Yeah, they should, they should have been doing this attacking a while ago. So if I don't block, that's 14 damage. Can't 
Can't really take 14. So I guess I should I should have I guess I should have just had Wild Growth Walker block the Tajik as well so they couldn't uh save Tajik and save Quende. Six coming in. How am I blocking Knight of Graces? Good. If they would have activated Tajik, they would have dealt another three damage. Spell Pierce, that's why. Ooh. Fortunately, those Knight of Graces are hexproof from black, otherwise we'd be able to wipe everything out. Party trick. When I'm beat, I'm beat. Don't worry. I'll be quick. So two four two four six eight nine ten. Need to draw another forest to bring back all these things from finale of eternity. Not another forest. Because um, I need 12 mana, so that's 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then untapping something is 10, 11. Rise, my elemental friend! I must return to my training. Yeah, so... Yeah, no, counting the Nissa mana, it got me up to 11, where I need 12 for that. 
counting. Like, Nissa could have got me up to 11. That is. Yeah, they, they should have killed the forest, not the swamp. Behold, nature's true power. Correct. Woodland Woodland Cemetery was not a forest, so that's why we only had one mana with Woodland Cemetery. That's how we didn't have the 12. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we still don't. All right, so we're just going to... Uh, should be lethal as long as they don't have anything. Withdrawing the evolution sage there. We'll minus 8... Will help us find a way. Put all these lands into play. That land too. So put these eleven lands into play. Get eleven proliferate triggers. Grow these forests to be fourteen fourteens. Really shouldn't be attacking with everything because of settle. I could just attack with the two forests. All right, three and O. Oh. <laughs> The knight had the counter on it earlier from a Tajik that mentored onto it. That was fun. Old spinning Nissa with Evolution Sage on the battlefield. That's fun. We did some fun stuff with some fun stuff with this this deck. Uh, Finale of Eternity for X is Ten is fun. Yeah, I'm liking this one. We should I should have buffed his creature too the whole time. Hey Bert with the pog. Thank you so much, Bert. No attacks. So am I going to uh, Play my second Wow Growth Walker here. Well, I guess now I'll just play the two I am not WGWs. That's more like it. Yeah, and this is gas. Goes nothing. All right. Yeah. Well, I don't think they're going to just have like a Kaiser Wrath right now. Ooh. Taking the Lanawar Elf hostage. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. They were worried about like five mana walker this next turn. 
Hmm. So I think I'm definitely playing Vivian like the next turn. So then it's like, do I want a Jade Light on the following turn after that? I don't know, maybe, but with us having another Explorer, we'll just take the land and a random draw over it. Yeah, this Teferi is pretty broken. I've got time. It's very good. Don't think we're beating double hero of precinct one. We'll just never be able to get through. Well, I mean, I guess they they could run out cards. They only got two cards in hand. Okay, okay. Not bad. It's better than what a J-Light would be. Unfortunately, I don't have the finale of Eternity main, uh, game one, so like, I'm not going to be able to like bring all my creatures back at all. Alright, opponents taking their time. Sign how to block this. I feel like the Wild Growth Walker is most likely going to get bounced our next turn. But maybe not. There could be there could be a good planeswalker removal spell in the core set. I really should you know something kind of like elder spell kind of thing. Uh, like there, we could we could see some more. I could see that like with all the planeswalker decks everywhere, I could see them printing an efficient planeswalker removal spell in the core set. Let's slow this down. Or like some kind of like artifact. This might be a yeah, bad like a idea. pithing needle, like one mana. Like, you know, instead of Sorcerer's Spyglass, a two mana kind of thing. Um, I don't know, it still has the... They still have the static abilities. I don't... Why do they not just play Hero first before Teferi and get another token? Who knows? We had to fight through these tokens eventually. Ah, uh, they could have drawn it off to fairy. Good call, good call. I bet I bet you're right there that whenever they to fairy minus the card they drew was Hero of Precinct One. Interesting. Oh, 
I've done the hero thing before. See what they got. I could see them having five mana to fairy and not wanting to play five mana to fairy this turn, because then they knew I was gonna Ugin and kill it, and instead wanting to. Um, well, one, they should be blocking with the token, not the land war elf. The token is like the land war elf is just much more valuable than the token. But anyway, um, yeah, like that's could see that being a thing. That was another likely scenario for a card in their hand. It's a counter spell. Let's try this. And I wanted to go to combat first before they, and you know, not let them just make another token as far as blocking goes. I just mess this up. Hmm. Yeah, just getting rid of that Golgari Queen now. Is up to you, pal. I always survive. You'll see. You can't stop nature. I just mess that up. Ooh, hold land for Bell Hunt. That's a good call. Yeah, that's a good call. That could definitely punish me. I wasn't thinking about Bell Hunt. I was thinking of how I should have sequenced that. So basically, I went with the Branch Walker first because I wanted the Wildgrowth Walker to be a little bit bigger as far as like when attacking them. It was still big enough. I didn't need to do that. So basically, you should always Vivian before exploring because of that, because you reset your the top of your library. All right, so they got rid of two lands, Hostage Taker, Soren. Do not defy the designs of a Secrets manifest before you. All right, what two cards they got? Ugh, that's a good one. If you show remorse, the I'll last few cards mistake. have been nice. The Dispark for Vivian, and then Enter the God Eternals, and then Teferi. Last couple cards have been really good. Yeah, I could have played it and sat there and not plus one. That's true, but that's that's just not as good as plus one the Vivian and and, and moving forward. Because even with that plus base. one, we grabbed a land that allowed us to Ugin and Wild Growth Walker. No, I, I think it's definitely a, a plus one play.
I don't really like sacrificing my Ugin to kill the Teferi. I'm getting too old for this. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, we have, like, really good defense on the, like, for the Ugin right now. It's basically they can't really attack in. And I think, and hopefully, like, we hope they just don't draw a Planeswalker removal spell, of course, in these two draw steps. And we get to untap with Ugin at four loyalty. And then the four loyalty Ugin can kill Teferi. Thank me later. I've got it. What if this comes down to decking and our opponent decks because they milled themselves four instead of us decking because they didn't mill us four? That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, it's not bad. So obviously they can kill Ugin here. It does take out a good amount of their battlefield presence to take out Ugin. I'll protect you. Right on schedule. The graphics thing just keeps updating. I, I noticed like how crystal clear it was at the 1440, and that's gonna make it lag a little bit. And so going back down to 1080, it shouldn't be any difference for y'all because y'all are seen in 1080 anyway. This land world is doing nothing but trading with a 1 1. This is not my first ending. And this one's lost. 
They still have another big Teferi over there. We're at 45 and we're dead. I don't, I don't have any. I guess I, I guess I could draw another Ugin. Then that Ugin will die. And then I have to draw this Wild Growth Walker. That's not even going to do it for me. No, this can't be one. Not especially knowing that we're going to be drawing that Wild Growth Walker. They get the, the multiple draws a turn. Blech. Sixty-nine cards. If I'm bringing that many cards in, we got to cut a lot of cards. I think, like, with how much of a battle of attrition this is, with like things trading all the time, I don't think this is where we want to be evolution saging. So that's going to be our first thing that comes out. Um, I guess maybe I just don't play all these duresses or wow growth walkers. So we saw there, like they just keep on bouncing Wild Growth Walker over and over with the fairy. It's that's not great. I don't know. Yep, it's the power of blue. Hmm. I thought we were gonna win that whenever they had no cards in hand, or they had one card in hand, and we resolved Vivian. I thought we were going to win, and then their last card was to spark, and I was like, okay, we'll still probably win. Yeah, we had, like, Ugin still in our hand. But now they just found some big Teferis and drew a whole bunch of cards. Hmm. I have hostage taker too. Whoa, I still had time. I was looking at the timer. Come on. I was I was actually just looking at the timer to see and you know where we where we were and I decided to just take out the wild growth walkers. And then I was gonna go over to submit. Still definitely had more time. And I just didn't give it to me, so we're playing our main deck here. So we have turn three Nissa on the play. We just gotta hope no Thought Erasure and no Dovin's Veto and no Dispark. That's unfortunate. I'm mysterious, refined. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. All right, go, Davriel, go. Got rid of a Dovin's veto. Already doing good. I can no longer stand by and watch. Don't worry, I got this. Perish the thought. Get this counter back on the Davriel. Don't make another move. I do really like that Evolution Sage Davriel combo. No. No. 
I am not making this up as I go. Vanessa was like our one card <laughs> in this game. Proliferating to fairies, yuck. Trust me, I have a plan. I think you'll be needing that. Okay. This what can we might do? Be a bad idea. We need. I mean, we're a Golgari Walkers deck. That's what we need to be top decking is Walkers. Um, Chupacabra would be a good one, though. To kill the Hostage Taker and give me back this Evolution Sage. That would be just fine. Or another land. Let's tidy up in there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Captain Obvious. I've got time. Hostage Shaker is a heck of a card, especially with this Teferi to bounce it. Here we go. Kill that. Both of these games, yeah. Both of these games our opponents done a lot better job of you know, not drawing too many oh, lands. Like, we made them discard thing. one land earlier, so, but they've only drawn six lands total here. The, that first game, they drew, like, seven lands to our much more than seven, or something like that. Done a very good job of lots of spells. And and a, a good amount of lands. Like the right amount of lands to be able to cast stuff. Oh well. That's alright. We had to get our loss. So there's our loss there. Uh, three and one. Let's move on. Yeah, we drew ten lands and three elves. Ugh. Yeah. Not so good. One of our 24 land deck. I mean, it's not like our opponent's playing less lands than us. We have to get one of those matches out of the way. Let's do that. <clears throat> it's really our hand was gonna like our. We we're gonna be doing great if we just got to play the Nissa on turn three, but that's, you know, that was the Thought Razor. It was that game. Did they have Thought Razor or Dovin's Veto? And they did. All right, band stuff. Good old 
Wild Growth Walker, J Light Ranger. Good job, J Light. Being a 4 3 and getting rid of two land wear off. It's really strong. Just don't have to worry about drawing those land wear elves now. And we have a 4 3 creature. Perfect. Looks like we're chupacabering that incubation druid this turn. Not let them have all that mana. <laughs> Another land or elf. Three elves in a row. That can't be very good odds. That cannot be very good odds to happen. I can't really get through the incubation druid. I will aid you. Being a three five, but playing this pre combat, if, so if they have frilled mystic to counter it, then we would have been able to attack. Because then they wouldn't be able to adapt incubation druid. I can kill an Incubation Druid. We have Vivian Reed that can take out a Krasis. If they got one of those. For the next turn. <clears throat> is this deck surprisingly budget? Nice. Because, yeah, this deck is super fun. No, not Oketra. Wait. That just puts themselves dead. Yeah, they're just... I lead the Golgari now. <sighs> Pity we couldn't have been allies. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Yep, and then just attack with all the stuff. They can block Wild Growth Walker and take the rest. Uh, let's get these finales. And a cast down. And some moment of cravings. Um, contempt. All right, getting rid of Davriel. Getting rid of... I kind of like everything else. Like, maybe not Vivian 5. Maybe I don't need this many of, like, these... Maybe I don't need all these little things. Maybe I don't need, like, Moment of Cravings that are just, like, there to kill Incubation Druids. And not really do very much else. Uh, no, I do not. I live in Virginia and stream each and every day. This can kill a mana creature or kill a Krasis. It's the biggest thing I like about the Vivian Reed is killing Krasis. 
probably have like Shalai also though that Vivian's gonna need to kill. I like Evolution Sage because this is gonna be a matchup where I guess I just have to cut one Evolution Sage though because I have to cut something. But this should be a matchup like where we. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna cut one of those. Ugin. No. Should be a matchup where we kind of stall out, you know, on both sides, and we need something to break a battlefield stall, and that's what Evolution Sage can do. Um, I just don't, I just don't play modern right right now at all. Um, playing arena and everything. But I do like um, Eladrami's call. That's a, a very cool card. I don't know if that's good enough for modern. First, just instinct was that it's not good enough to see modern play. But we'll see. I could I could definitely see that being played in like a, a more like that's like a kind of feels like more of a creature combo kind of card, like a devoted druid kind of card. Hey, Casey. Thank you. Hmm. Well, I was planning on playing Jade Light and trying to hit land drops. I guess I should take a turn off for that card, I suppose. But, you know, was, you know, of course the plan was was just just to keep curving out Jade Light, Choop, Nissa. Hopefully we don't need Choop this next turn if we don't draw a land. Frilled Mystic, it's annoying. That's really annoying. Well. Now, I definitely wish I would have just Jade Light Rangered last turn. We would have explored the Ugin in the graveyard and gotten the next card. So we'll see if that if it plays out good for us of having the Ugin. We'll see if we can hit some lands. That works out. This card looks really cool. That art's awesome. July. <laughs> Gotta find that land. We need mo mana. Not mo problems. Mo mana. All right, there we go. Definitely could have used that this past turn to be able to choop this July, though, of course. The very least, they'll, they'll get a July activation now. 
at the very least. I am. I'm in a real chill, relaxed mood right now, too. I like the stained, the stained glass art stuff. I think it looks pretty nice. Ow. Alright, we're getting there. I guess maybe we need to play the, the Nissa last turn. I mean, the Nissa's just gonna die. No, I couldn't just play Nissa. Every fight makes me stronger. Let me show you what was lost. Need to just hit another land drop and be able to Ugin kill the 7 7. But I guess that means I'm gonna die if I do that. So, what's my out? I guess I don't have an out. Yeah, I guess I don't have an out. Because they're still at the 4 4. Alright, didn't get our lands until too late. Right, everything that kills Crisis is in my deck. <clears throat> now, Finale is based on toughness. I didn't have 9 mana to kill the 7-7 seven, seven plus the BB. Because BBX kill, the, kill creatures based on toughness. So no, I cannot Finale Crisis. Yep, Shekel Shekel. Yeah, you can join the Discord. We're in there talking magic and everything. Discord's for everybody. That's where I always like put like stream announcements, like if I'm gonna miss a day, I announce it there in the Discord channel. And there's the link. Exclamation point Discord always gets you that. Alright, well five card hand. Not ideal. But there's just one lander and one lander. We're still keeping a one lander, but at least we have Land War Elf and Branch Walker. But we're going. I think both Liliana, talking about the six mana walkers, I think both Liliana and Ugin are better cards than the six mana Vraska. I think they're both um, appreciably better and would recommend playing those. Over Vraska. Or, yeah. As far as... Like, should this deck be playing Ugin or Liliana? I mean, kind of go either way. I've been I've been happy with Ugin, but I like Liliana as well. I like them both. I could see playing one of each. All that kind of stuff. Like, the Ugins are good. Like, they're... They haven't been bad at all. Oh, I should be attacking for two there, by the way. Sorry. Um, but they're... The Ugins are good. Gives the deck some good interaction.
just not going to play anything into the Frilled Mystic. Yeah, how they shocked in like that, I definitely think it's Frilled Mystic. We don't really need to play anything consider considering we're attacking, they're not. Even, you know, Evolution Sage doesn't do very much for us, but there's just not really a reason for me to turn their hand on and allow them to get the Frilled Mystic out of their hand for good value. That's game. Get to play Nissa plus. The land plus Frill Mystic. Hmm. I mean, it's not game. So this will take the this will bring the frill mystic out. So we need Nissa to resolve, and we need both our Nissa and our Finale of Eternity to resolve. Kind of thing. Now we're in now we're in huge trouble though. The land fights for us. Yeah, we're Never mind. The Nissa is gonna die to Nissa tick up. Hmm. So if I shock eight, three, six, seven, eight. They have eight. We fought hard for Moling to five. For keeping a one land, you know, we our seven was one land, our six was one land, our five was one land. We fought hard. A, a real big part of this game was that disdainful stroke for our turn three Vraska. Like turn three, like would have been able to do a whole lot with that turn three Vraska, like getting rid of the land war elf, killing all their land wars and everything. But we tried. The problem, like, sure, we get to finale there, but we're still just going to be behind this Nissa. 
Um, especially like the Nissa ult and everything. Maybe we draw another finale here. I guess that's possible. We could draw another finale. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, that's that's what I needed was I need Nissa in play and then be able to untap in finale for ten and bring back Chupacabra and Branch Walker and stuff. But this is not in the cards. So they're gonna adapt incubation druid. I have to be able to block three creatures. I can't block three creatures. Cause they'll have Yeah, I mean I'll just I'll just show y'all, but we're dead. Yeah, I like storytelling. I mean I, I like hearing people tell stories. I'm not very I'm not very good at telling my own stories, honestly. It's never been a strong suit of mine. We have two creatures to block, and they have four creatures attacking because of the Nyssa. Can't deal with all of it. Nah, it won't happen, Seth. I don't... Do that. Uh, well, fun, fun deck for sure. Here, we had a little bit of tough mana luck with some of our losses. Behold, nature's true power. Yep, we can block two creatures and we take four. Don't know what they're doing at all. I mean, it's got to be mass manipulation. Could be like the only thing that they're tapping like this for. Like, are they just doing this for a crisis? Yeah, it's manipulation. All right, three and two. So yeah, this deck was pretty fun to play. Um, I think the card that I was least impressed with was the Davriel. And I could see just having maybe a little bit more interaction, like creature interaction, removal kind of thing. Some more removal in, this, in the main deck instead of Davriel. Um, or even like some more... I don't know. I guess like there was like some other games like that we just ran out of gas, uh, kind of thing. Like, what if? Yeah, the, the Davriel just didn't really seem like anything we kind of needed there. Like that finale edition. Yeah, like yeah, the finale is is awesome. I wonder if that's a main deck thing. Just play that main deck, maybe? Um, hey, what's up, DJ Polyb? Yeah, this yeah, this could be like a sideboard card, maybe. Um, I could see going with like like two cast down and a six mana Liliana instead of these Davriels. Maybe. Or even just like playing Fnatic, like in the main deck, just go like two cast down, one Liliana. I, I kind of want like 
at least one copy of six mana Liliana in here and maybe like a third Vivian. Um, kind of felt like we need a little bit more top end, like that kind of stuff. But we also need a little bit more removal in the beginning early, the earlier game also. So I kind of want to cut like three, like the Davriels and maybe one, one Golgari queen and go to like two queen and have a little bit more in the beginning and like one more late, big late game finisher kind of thing. Um, all right. So you're running this list right now. Davriel's been really un unimpressive. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. That's Golgari Walker. So maybe something like, like I was saying, uh, maybe like two cast down, getting rid of this. I'll just kind of show, have it here so you can kind of visually see what I was saying. Get that J light back in here. And like a, a big Liliana. And then maybe with those cast downs in the main, you don't need the cast down in the board. So maybe another big Liliana in the board. For like whenever you need to go big in like some of those mid-range mirrors. Maybe something like that. Are we good? <clears throat> Why not main deck finale? I guess there there will be like hmm I don't know yeah maybe maybe we could have main deck finale I mean it's really good so finale is really good against like the creature heavy decks of course but it's also really good after sideboarding because after sideboarding basically every deck is a little bit more mid rangey uh, the aggro decks try to go a little bigger the the big decks go a little smaller everything just kind of goes a little bit more towards the middle after sideboarding and finale of eternity is going to be better in those games than in the game one where it could be harder to you know either it'll be like a dead card against some decks or it could be harder to um really take advantage of it i think we just want the the cast downs it's it is like a, it is like a better game games two and three card um did i oh i i took out too many cards we need one more card in here uh I guess maybe get that Golgari Queen back or just get a Contempt in the main. Honestly, this this deck felt like a lot of times it kind of felt like maybe I could use a Contempt. Maybe a Contempt over a Golgari Queen. Or, wait, or, you know what we could use in the main? We could use a Fine Finality also. That would give us a Sweeper. That could actually really help. Yeah, get a Fine Finality in here. Yeah, Fine Finality is just a really strong card. Yeah, I love I love a copy of Fine Finality. Because there's other times like where you know there like there's a lot of times where kind of need a sweeper. Almost forgot about that card. Yeah, I like that. You can like get back evolution sages like later if you need them or or whatever. Um, so there we go. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you hit that like button and subscribe button over there. I'd appreciate that. Uh, but that's it for Golgari Walkers. Thank you very much for watching.